Youth Runner here with uh, the breakthrough performer of the day, CC Hartman from Bloomer. 1830 for third overall in an absolutely stacked girls' championship race at the 38th Roy Griac Invitational. I know it's still pretty fresh and pretty uh, immediate, but just uh, uh, what are the emotions? You have to be incredibly proud and incredibly satisfied. Yeah, I'm just, I'm super happy that I was able to just kind of. Uh, keep my pace up during the race. I was hoping to stick with kind of the front pack and then I'm just happy that I had enough, just enough at the end to push through and finish. Uh, really happy and proud of my team though as well because we had so many girls that finished hard and I'm happy to be able to run here this year. How valuable are these environments this early in the year, CC, for, for you and the group, right? You know, when you're getting, you know, some of the best women in the, in the country, obviously the two women that finished in front of you are both All-Americans, you know, uh, and obviously, you know, some of the best teams in the country, certainly with Cardinal Gibbons and, you know, and, and Wyzetta and, uh, and others. Like, I know, you know, you can't go through a menu and handpick them, but it's obviously good people, you know, to, uh, to be out there with. So how, how valuable is it for you and the group just to kind of, be in this type of environment as much as possible before the postseason. It's definitely valuable. Like these races are number one. Like you can train all you want, but racing against some of these girls is like my favorite thing to do, and it helps me just get myself ready, see what I need to work on, see how I can improve, how I need to be pacing my first mile, things like that. So it's I'm happy I got to race both of these girls, and yeah. I always feel like when you, you know, when you have everything to gain, and it's like the longer that you stay connected with them, you know, or even if Ella and Libby detached, like Maddie was still there and Nora was still there, you know, like the longer that you stay there from a, to a mile and a half, to two miles, to two and a half miles, like, did you just feel like, like, okay, like I'm still there. Like, so let's just, let's just make sure that we got it, you know, got enough at the end to go up that, you know, uh, that last hill. I mean, like, were you gaining confidence uh, at the fact that it's like, hey, like, I'm, I'm either gaining ground or just maintaining my place you know, in the second half of the race? Definitely gaining a little bit of confidence. I just tried to stay calm and then the last 800 just try to really open up and make sure I don't let anyone pass after that point, but yeah. Awesome. To, uh, to be able to have the weather like this, right? Obviously, I don't have to explain to you, you know, that, uh, I mean, any, anytime anybody in, in uh, you know in, in Minnesota or anywhere you know in the neighboring states are complaining that it might be even a little bit too warm, you know that like uh, you'd always rather take that as right. opposed to 30 or 40 degrees and right. winds and rain and mud and whatnot. So just you know, how much of a blessing was it to be able to have you know a, a dry course and pretty favorable conditions? It was the best because my only other experience like this big of a meet was state last year yeah. and that was just a freezing race. You know, pulled muscles all over. So it was it was a little bit debatably too warm but it was nice for the muscles so awesome. I'm happy with it. <laughs> Congratulations, stay healthy, best of luck to you and the group. Thank you so much, thank you.